This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Ford F-250 Crew Cab short bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's FX4 off-road suspension. It's a King Ranch, highest trim level. It has 174,950 miles. It was a new car dealer trade-in to Freeway Chevy and Chandler, which is Phoenix. Um, we purchased from them, brought it to Tucson, sent it to our shop monsoon. They said it needed a glow plug module a glow plug harness it needed number two and number five glow plugs it needed a coolant reservoir vacuum lines for the air conditioning and a heater valve and a coolant reservoir then we sent it to detail but the good news is while it was there um we were told by monsoon that this truck was a very special truck also and that the previous owner did the following first of all it's head studded very important it also has a kc stage one turbo okay um that's 1600 dollars. we believe it's the 10 blade because it's got the whistle um and it also has a banks intercooler which is 1500 dollars. has a banks rare rare ram air intake which is 460. then after that it's got charge air cool intercooler tubes um it's got all new brakes it's got newer shocks. Somebody's done the shocks fairly recently. Um, it has a new drive line with new carrier support bearings. It's got a really cool aftermarket 48 gallon fuel tank underneath. And it's got an SB air cleaner, okay? Aftermarket air cleaner, air filter. Um, it also has no catalytic converter and the EGR is deleted, which is awesome until you want to go to emissions. Um, if you're an Arizona buyer, you're going to pick it up here. You have to have a have to have a cat. We have to install one. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But uh, this truck is amazing, 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 amazing. Really, 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 really nice truck. Um, I'll point in this video things to look at in the uh, in the uh, video. But I do know in the uh, auto check that it says it had a minor accident in 2013. I believe it was in Las Vegas uh on the driver rear side and or driver driver oh no I'm, I'm sorry on the rear end which clearly there's a little scratch here that's not part of it this tailgate has been hammered a little bit and they've done some pretty bad body work on it these things always end up on the ground in the garages because of that they usually people don't usually have these on so they're usually the victim of uh falling over and getting walked on face down usually <laughs> i've seen them in people's garage it makes me want to cry anyway um it looks like a little bit of body work right here okay but that's it ends like right here so it is minor but in my videos it's really important for you to know everything so that when you get it especially if you're going to ship it a long distance you're happy and you get more than you expect instead of less um, that's very important uh our business model does not work if you get less than <laughs> than you were told you were getting okay uh let's see 147,957 miles um it just came back from detail dennis took photos a couple minutes ago so this is a warm start in case you care about that uh, there you go hopefully you can see that with the glare there's all your gauges all right let's see i'll do the front stuff front window all right mirrors boom up and down out in that the passenger mirror, mirror was suspiciously fast which means in my world he probably just replaced it because they don't move that fast unless they're brand new this driver's seat has obviously been recovered the rest have not but if you've ever had a king ranch or been in one you know that they need to be recovered at some point and so this guy's already done it usually there's a heated seat light on and off usually they don't recover it the right way and include the keen ranch symbol they just recover it so that was nice of them to do it the right way there's your tilt wheel there's your pedals your movable pedals windshield wipers all right i'm gonna open up the i opened up the hood We'll look under the hood. I'll take off the oil cap. We'll look and see how much blow by it has. Um, we'll look for fender uh, stamps, original Ford stamp there. So you have an original fender. There's the new air cleaner, aftermarket air cleaner, new water, new uh, coolant bottle. There's your Ram air intake. Ford stamp here. Ford stamp here.
that's beautiful. That's excellent on blow by. Show you. God, this fucking wind is driving me crazy. It's so hard to show people stuff in this wind. Um, anyway, all this stuff is scanned in so you can read it all. You should really read this. Of course, in this, they forgot the most important stuff. <laughs> he calls me after he gives it. He goes, Oh, yeah, it's not got a stage one KC stage one turbo. Oh, and then he called me a little while ago, right before I did the video and started to do this video. It's also head studded. So I believe that Dennis has photos of the head studs, I think, in our ads, you can see them. Um, anyway, there's the bin and everything. Um, number two and five glow plugs, glow plug module, glow plug harness, um, coolant reservoir, vacuum hose, heater valve, uh, blah, blah, blah. Put that up here. Let's see, Here's these are just parts invoices. That's all scanned in, you can look at that yourself. Here's the... Uh, Auto check, there's your VIN, uh, clean title, no auction brands, accident damage minor, and it says, uh, it's got a little circle here for a rear end, minor collision, 726 at 23. Um, it was born in Texas, looks 726 at 23. We have a rear impact with another vehicle, minor damage reported, and it lived in Kingman. And uh, boom, Maricopa, Arizona looks like this is when he traded it in 52021. All right. And I'll bet he got a fortune for this truck in trade. This is a badass truck. Of course, the new car dealers don't know anything about this stuff, so they probably, hopefully, he got them good. <laughs> so, this is a nice truck. But there's the seat forward and back, and down and up, tilt up and down. Up and down. Heated seat on and off. There's a manual in here. Nothing going on there. Make sure I'm not... There's your door locks, by the way. Make sure I'm not locked out. All right. There's your window back here. Bum -bum. Is there back seat looks fantastic it actually all looks fantastic <laughs> you know but uh, my job in these videos isn't to be a cheerleader necessarily it's just to kind of report the news and uh, let you decide but uh, I can tell you that all that stuff that they did performance wise and motor wise is amazing really cool stuff for somebody who's sold thousands of these I love when they're when they're deleted and they're tuned correctly, which if they have to be tuned or they have a check engine light on. And of course, tuned and no cat and no EGR makes them run great. Um, let's see, it has an aftermarket radio. There's that. It's not hooked up to the steering. They were, I don't know why you'd go cheap there and not hook that up. But the steering controls do control the AC. There's the fan up and down, temperature up and down. You do it from the control head also. Okay, AC's blowing ice cold right now. Very nice. There's your rear window. There's that. Uh, what else we got going on here? Uh, la, 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 la. I'll do a system check for you. Transmission temp okay. Oil pressure okay. Brake fluid level okay. All doors closed. Air filter okay. 254 miles to empty. System check complete. La la la, let me, actually let me put it in neutral. We'll go to four low. There we are, four low range. And I'll pull it up here and I'll back in towards that door to check the parking sensors, the backup sensors, while we're doing it, driving it in four low. So that's four low, right? And we'll back it up here. And let's see if we have backup sensors. Yes we do, okay. So we have backup sensors, go to neutral. I'm gonna go to four high. There's four high, low range goes away. Go out the gate. This is in four high. Quite a bit quicker in four high. And reverse in four high. Boom, perfect. Neutral, now we'll go back to two wheel drive. 
and we'll go for a ride. All right, like I said, we'll get to discuss some things. Um, if you're an Arizona resident and you're gonna pick it up here in town and, le and you're gonna plate it in Arizona, has to have a cat, we have to install one, all right? That's $475 for an Arizona buyer plating it in Arizona, okay? Um, that's mandatory, that's $475 for Arizona only. Um, then you would have uh, your state tax rate, whichever, whatever that is, plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. So if you're from out of state and you pick it up, all you have to pay is your agreed upon price, um, plus your state tax, plus our city of 2.7% and uh, $250 dock fee. But if you want a cat on it before you drive it home, because um, you're gonna have to deal with that in your state, um, then let us know several days before you arrive so we can get that done and we'll add 475 to the deal. If you're from California, I strongly urge you to do it. Um, if you're gonna bring it back to Arizona, I mean back to California and plate it, because a 49 state cat like we can put on in Arizona is much cheaper than a California uh, uh, 50 state cat, from what I'm told. You please do your research and make sure I'm correct. I've never done that in California, but a lot of buyers have told us this. Uh, we give you the paperwork that allows you to say, hey, I had this cat installed out of state and it's legit, and then you get, you know, you get plates, you go through emissions. But if you have to have one installed there, it's quite a bit more money, all right? Um, anyway, uh, if you're gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive uh, full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We'll even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, you'll have it shipped to you. If you need help with shipping, let me know. Um, if uh, if you want us to ship it for you, uh, we'll roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so you make one payment for the truck and the, and the shipping. Um, but you're welcome to do the shipping yourself, all right? Um, deposits $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please get your deposit in. Um, let's see what else. La, 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 la. Um, last part of every video, I've said this for, God, 16 years and lots and lots, thousands of vehicles, a lot of 6.0s. Um, we don't have salesmen, so there's no commission as part of our deal. Um, we don't have a fancy location. Our uncle rents us our location for a dollar a year, and yes, he does come and get a check for a dollar. Um, he gets a check for a dollar because he has to write off the loss. Uh, he's pretty wealthy, so he doesn't care. All right, and uh, he gets his check and then he writes off the loss. It's pretty cool. Um, so we don't have a lot of money out of pocket for location, any, and uh, and for salesmen, none. Um, it's just me and my brother, and it's pretty low overhead. So what we do is we make our prices very attractive because we don't have all those bills that everyone else has, okay? So a lot of time we get the, how is your price so cheap that's, you know, too low it's got to be a trick it's got no it's just because we're not we're giving you the savings up front if you'd like us to charge you more and give you a warranty uh you know two or three grand in warranty because that's what you would pay more there uh then let me know we'll add three grand to the price and you could drive around for i don't know six months or a year or something and we'll fix your truck you know <laughs> but but that's stupid this doesn't need it i would take the money and go on a vacation okay um, but there is a give and take. While you can go back to the new car dealership and complain loudly because you should if it's not perfect because they charge you a fortune, many thousands more than we are, um, if you come here, we're gonna tell you to fix your truck with the money you save. That's what we're gonna tell you. Um, and it doesn't matter what's wrong, when it's wrong, could be the minute you bought it or two years later. Uh, if that doesn't work for you, there's not a single vehicle in our inventory that I would want to sell you or I would I would sell you. If you said, gosh, if I don't get a check because the window doesn't work today or the radio stopped working or the frickin' who knows what, an injector went bad or whatever, um, whether it's day one or day 2000, um, you're not getting a check. That's the part of selling them for the price we're selling them for, okay? Uh, our buyers, we have many 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 repeat buyers understand that and i've heard from back from them where they say yeah i bought it and you know the the seventh car i bought from you uh had a problem with an injector but i knew not to call you because that's how you sold it all right i go bingo kyle now kyle's on truck number 16. um he lives in san diego and he's uh it's a charity thing and he buys a bunch of trucks from us 
And he's, he's like, overall, I made a fortune buying from you. Saved a fortune, made a fortune, whatever you want to say. Thousands per truck. And uh, so if I have to deal with one or two problems once in a while, that's fine. All right, that's the person we want. If you're the person who's like, they didn't say that, and this isn't gonna happen, and blah, then we're gonna have a problem because there's not a single vehicle out here that's not gonna break. It's really when. Right now, this is very, very, very strong. Great running truck, but you never know when something's gonna tell you, decide to take a dump. And if it does, you just saved a bunch of money because you know us and you bought from us. So go fix your truck, all right? Um, plus, we're a little busy. There's only two of us. We don't have time to be running vehicles around after we sold them, okay? Especially when we didn't sell them for enough to do that, okay? Anyway, uh, hell of a truck, man. This thing is tuned and it's strong. Fast truck. Um, when I make my turn on Gardner Lane, it's 16 minutes and 10 seconds in this video. At 17.38, the video ends. It's the GoPro SD card limit, and we're about a minute away from there so hopefully I can find a place to let it rip a little bit it's pretty quick it's definitely tuned it's definitely runs strong uh, nice truck really nice truck perfect no nice truck yes All right, let's see 16 minutes and 39 seconds I might be you know, if I can make it to the next four-way stop in time see I have to go slow because there's a school up here uh, but if I can make it to that left, I'll do a left, and I'll see if I can't uh, do some speed. 16.54 on the... Ah, damn it. I doubt it. Anyway, bummer. <laughs> it runs great. It runs great, but there's a million cars at this four-way stop, so you're not going to get to see me rip it. Um, la, 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 la. Has a nice ride, too. Really, I mean really nice ride i like the fact that he was on normal tires too although maybe he had uh, aftermarket tires and he just put the originals back on and kept the original uh the, the tires that were on tires and wheels that were on it i'll bet that's what he did because it's got a little bit of a lift anyway uh la, 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 almost 17 minutes and 38 seconds uh thank you very much for your time